Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 82. As you can see, I am in the wilderness catching black chins as I have an aviancy task to kickstart the episode. Um, after that, probably just continue with a bit more Slayer. I would quite like to get at least one more Greater Demon task this episode and do maybe 100 kills at Zami. Uh, that would fire me up the ranks even further. Um, if you don't know, I finished the last episode on rank 18 Iron Man kills and uh, I'm driver hilt basically in over 2k KC. So fingers crossed we can get a lot of bossing done this episode, maybe a bit of skilling to mix in as well and I hope you guys enjoy the episode. Well that is 97 Hunter, I've decided that I'm going to go straight to 98 before starting my armadillo task. That will leave me with enough chins in the bank to do a couple more after I finish my current one and that will be quite nice because it would be good to do a bit more armadillo this episode, maybe try and go for a back to back task with the slayer cape and then I don't have to spend more time in the wilderness hunting chins. It'll be interesting to see which I get first, 99 hunter or the last two items that armadillo. I'm still looking for the helmet and the chain skirt. It would be really nice to finish up uh, all of the armadillo bossing that I need to do before I hit 99 hunter but yeah may end up going a little bit over, we'll see. All right, well, this is the last chin for 98 Hunter. I've got a really decent stack of these in the bank now, just under 4,500, which I think will be good for three, maybe nearly four armadillo tasks. So I need to pick up a few ecumenical keys and then gonna head over to God Wars Dungeon. First drop off the task and it is a shard off a minion. I'm about, I don't know, 15, 20 kills in, so still plenty of time for a proper drop. And finished up the task on 567 kills. Sadly, no drops, but hopefully we'll get another task or two very soon. That is what we like to see, the Slayer Cape perk coming in clutch for another Aviancy task back to back, 239. And I have all of the chin, so I can just dive straight in. First drop of the task, and it's not a particularly exciting one, just a shard off the minion. And that is the end of the task, finishing up on 618 kills and sadly no drops. Two clues to open from Slayer, a hard and an elite. Nothing. And a master clue. Let's see if we can do this one. Managed to complete the master. Let's see if we can get anything good. I'd quite like to get the Ale of the Gods. I think that's a pretty cool item and I don't think it's too rare. Um, probably won't get anything though. Told you. I don't normally record my hard clues, but this is going to be my 400th one, so enjoy the 50k loop. Wow, it's actually 75k, that's really good. There we go, that is another Aviancy task, 223, so heading back to God Wars and really hoping to pick up a unique this time. Well, that is the last kill of the task, finishing up on 665kc. Um, yeah, I feel like the KC is getting up there now. I've done quite a bit of armadillo this episode. It would be a shame if I wasn't able to get a unique to squeeze into the episode. I've got enough chin chompers for at least one full task and close to probably a second. So yeah, hopefully I can get something before the end of the video. And that is another Jad down, number nine overall. And we'll of course be trading in the cape. No, I don't want to wear it, I want to trade it in. Let's see if we can get lucky. No, not this time. And another Jad bites the dust, that is my 10th overall. Can we get lucky? I really want this pet, I think it looks really cool. Let's give it a go. Ah, not this time. It happened, another Greater Demon task, that will be over 100 kills. Obviously going to be going straight back to Zami God Wars and let's see if we can get the hilt. Oh, I never thought it would happen. It looks so beautiful and that is right at the end of the task as well. I've only got maybe four kills, not even that, three kills left. I can't believe it. I actually thought I was going to go the whole task without getting a single item. Oh, I never have to come back here. I never ever have to come back here. That is so good. I stayed for a couple of extra kills just to uh, see if I could get a back to back and to finish the task. So 2,215 Krill kills overall. That does put me at rank 14 Iron Man kills um, on the high scores, which is pretty cool. And time to make my second unique God Sword. Oh, that's so good. That is another Master Clue item ticked off. I think the only ones I need now 
would be the armadillo helm and there's also a step that requires bandos boots and a step that requires the bandos god sword so i'll have to head back to god wars to get those i think elite clue from a mithril dragon what can we get nothing and that is another jad down number 11 overall and of course going to be trading in the cape can we get lucky Ah, uh, not this time. Over the past few episodes I've spent quite a lot of time at God Wars Dungeon and now that I've got the Zami Hill I kind of wanted to take a step back and think about maybe going back to doing some skilling. Um, I was having a look over my skills and what I wanted to work on next and I realised that construction has been on the list for absolutely ages. I've had 99 banked in logs for I don't know maybe a year or so and I just kept putting it off because I really didn't want to face up to having to turn them all into planks but I have actually gone ahead and done that and this is 99 banked which is quite exciting um, I already had the oak and mahogany planks in the bank so that was quite nice as it knocked off maybe an hour or two of plank making and um, yeah I've decided that the method I'm going to be going with in terms of the teak planks is going to be the garden benches there is the option of doing the myth cape um, method for iron men which is a little bit cheaper and you get more xp per log or plank i guess um, but i've tried it before and it's a bit fiddly so i don't mind you know using slightly more planks and spending a bit more money i'm really not struggling for cash at the moment so this is what i'm going to be doing um construction is not really the most exciting skill to see being leveled up so probably just show the levels in a quick little montage or something and uh, knock out 99 relatively quickly which is nice because it's uh, yeah definitely been on the agenda for a long time And this is going to be the very last bench that I need to make for 99 construction, which is very pleasing indeed. It's going to be a really useful skill cape to have. So without further ado, there we go, 99 construction. I was about to say I've never had this before, but I did actually get 99 construction on the Twisted League, but that doesn't really count. So first time properly getting 99 construction on any account across any version of the game and uh, let's go and pick up the cape. There we go, that is the 99 construction cape, probably the most useful one alongside the crafting cape in terms of the set effect that it has. It's basically an unlimited teleport tab to your house and I think as well you can use it to teleport to yeah, other house portal teleports which is really, really convenient. I don't really have to worry too much about using redirection scrolls anymore which is pretty cool. And of course have to do the obligatory skill cape emote. I quite like this one, I think it looks pretty cool. I am really, really pleased to uh, finally have achieved this. I've been putting it off for a long, long while, like I said. In terms of what my player and house actually looks like, it's pretty pared down. It's a four by three grid, so 12 rooms. And I was thinking once I hit 99 to try and get it trimmed down to a three by three square. Um, which would mean needing to get rid of three rooms. I can certainly get rid of the kitchen. I think I was only using that if I needed a boost for construction. Obviously at 99 I won't ever need that again. Um, I've also got a dining room which I basically only have for the bell pool to summon the butler and the two bedrooms. I was thinking to get rid of these three but I'm not too sure if there are many instances where I need to be using the butler banking method. I know I used it when I was catching Karam ones um, way back when. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys as Iron Men are using the banking method. I may end up keeping these rooms and possibly not actually making the house that much smaller. And on that note, I'm going to call it an episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. It has been a really fun episode to put together for two very obvious reasons. Firstly, finishing up the Zamorak God Sword. I've been trying to get this hilt for God knows how long. I mean, it could be like a year, year and a half, maybe even longer. It's, it's hard to say. I finished Zami in terms of the other drops that I needed a long time ago. I thought I'd take a look at the collection log to round off the episode. It's not 100% accurate because 
I did receive some of these drops before the log was actually released. Shame not to get the pet. I'm certainly not going to be going back. Um, but that's what my log is looking like. In terms of the actual drops, in the end it was 24 Zamorak Spears, 6 Staff of the Dead, and uh, 21 Steam Battle Staffs, which at uh, the current prices is about 500 mil, which is a quarter of my overall bank value. Pretty ridiculous. And secondly, obviously very pleased to finish off 99 Construction. I'm looking forward to using this cape. It's going to save me a lot of lore runes, it's going to save me a lot of teleport tablets, which is really, really good and a nice one to finish on the Iron Man. If you enjoyed today's episode, please feel free to drop a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all latest progress in the series, then hit the subscribe button. Looking forward to the next episode. And uh, in the meantime, guys, take care.